Okay, so we're on adventure with Sir Kuya Al. It's my third day here in the hospital after the accident. I'm staying here, a Chinese gym, covering. I just finished my um, lab tests for cardio because they have some findings in my heart. And I got a gift from Marnie. Thank you, Beb Marnie, for this wonderful gift. JM is with me. He's my hero. Akala ko ako si Superman to save the car from the accident. Pero siya pala yung hero ko. So siya yung nag-save sa akin. Sa pagkaipit sa kotse. And dun sa tree. Yes, I'm thankful and grateful that I'm still alive. And hopefully makalabas na rin soon. I still have my dextrose. Tsaka yung oxygen. Still taking some pain relievers, pero konti na lang. Bearable na yung pain. So I'm grateful and thankful. Day 5, Wednesday. So for discharge na tayo. Waiting na lang sa doctor's form for your health. And sila tatay din pa discharge na rin. Last ko na roto na dextro, so malapit na ako lumabas. Yung oxygen di ko pa alam. Ciao, it's an adventure. I'm back. I'm back home from the hospital. I'm alive, thank God. See, yung red eyes ko. That could be caused by the meds that I'm taking and painkillers natin. Sobrang namumula. Pero, Sabi nila kuya nila JM, ganyan na yung eyes ko, mas reddish pa dyan nung after the accident, nung naipit ako. And it may take time before I can really be healed, but I'm really grateful that I'm alive, and this is my second life. I thank you Lord, I survived. Thank you to JM, who really tried to push the car para makalis ako. And thank you to all the prayers of my friends family of course my siblings hindi pa alam ng parents ko kasi ayaw namin sila mag-worry ayaw ko sila mag-worry but 
definitely I had to tell them hanap pa tayo ng buwelo thank you thank you Lord I'm really grateful for this second life and I'll make use of it according to your will praise be to God glory to God Amen Amen Ciao may I say adventure it's a new day ang first night na ulit ako sa bahay pagkawe after kumahospitalize as you can see medyo maagod pa yung studio I got some allergies kasi nakamask ka the whole time sa hospital and my beard and mustache so bakabal na so I plan to train it today um pretty much okay I'm so blessed that I survived that accident um Yes, I had an accident. I don't know, it, it was a wrong decision for me. So that's why I want to share this to you also. Um, it was a bad call on my side. And that's why it happened. Because it was a... Well, actually, it was a regular day, actually. That day, we were in the farm. I was with Kui and JM. So our usual stuff. Actually, we got there very early. 9 a.m. So I had my plan for that day. So I fixed the I fixed the fence. Nagay ko yung um, wirings to protect uno to na makalabas para at least hindi na siya kailang itali when every time we're there and he can just go around para hindi siya lalabas dun sa street or anywhere. And then I fixed um, the greenhouse, the second greenhouse. Um, yun lang kasi I. Second time or third time that our par- I parked near the gazebo where it, it is. And then on that side, medyo nakaslant na siya talaga. The flat lang level was from the gate. And then towards there, medyo paslant na siya. So I parked there. I normally, ano naman, of course at the handbrake, I just don't set yung gears ng, let's say, primera para hindi daw pala mag-move anywhere. Nako-confuse kasi ako doon every time I, I put it in sa Primera. Then once I started, nag-jerk yun. So, nilagay ko lang sa neutral. And then, yeah, we're doing our stuff. It's around 11. 11.4. Suddenly, I was from the greenhouse and it started to roll back the car. And JM found so it also. And we panicked. And my panic resulted for me to go straight to the car where it is moving backwards so sinalubo ko siya thinking and hoping and knowing that I could stop it imagine that moving car backwards in a slant position and then you move towards the end of the car because the car is facing there and its back is moving downwards so I was here and it hit me hindi ko siya na stop It hit me, and then there was a tree at my back. So I sandwiched it. For a split second, I, I knew already that it was my time. I just shouted, "The ipit ako, mama matay na ako, mama matay na ako." I don't know, I don't know why I was happy at that time. I, uh, even up to now, I'm still thinking, "Why did I say it? Mama matay na ako." But I knew I wasn't ready. Ito na isip ko lang. Paano uuwi sila kuya? Paano kami lalabas from my bad place? Sobrang wala pa nakakilala sa akin. Hindi ko no. And then I saw Jim shouting, Tulong! Tulong! And then I just felt na biglang gumaan yung hindi ko na tayo mong yung car. I heard something na nag-crack from my bones. That's it. Kung mamatay na ako. And suddenly, I na- opened yung, yung partition from, my, from the car sa, sa chest ko. And I was able to move. And I didn't know that it was JM who pushed the car. Parang I didn't see it. I just felt I was in pain. I started in pain. Nakalakad pa ako to the car to reach the, the handbrake. It was set to handbrake kasi hindi lang siya nakasagad. Nasagad talaga. So nasagad ko pa siya. Open ko yung car and napopo na lang ako. And I don't know what's happening. I was quite gasping for air. And I, I know there's something inside me. And Kuya checked me. JM was... I don't know if he was in shock. But he couldn't say anything. Yung pala, 
Kasi he used his full force, full energy para matulak yung car, para makaalis ako. And I'm really thank to him for that, for saving my life. And then Kuya said, relax na lang mo na baka kung ano nangyari. And nararamdaman ko, anytime, mararamdaman ko yung sakit. So sabi ko, let's go to the hospital. Let's drive para makauwi ng Manila. And then, much better kung makabalik ng Manila before ko maramdaman talaga ko yung nangyari sa akin. So, naglipit kami. I drove back to Manila for three hours. But on our way, I checked with my HMO. And then, ang problema nga lang, hindi talaga makukover ng HMO kapag accident yung cause ng hospitalization. Not unless daw may police clearance. And that time, I don't have wala nang time for any police clearance so and luckily my kuya asked contacted my sister Beth and she had, because she's a doctor and she advised to go to Chinese med or it, she advised to, to go to a, a near hospital in Ternate but then sabi ko I want alam sa Manila para mas mabalis mas ma hindi mahihirapan sila kuya na makauwi din in case man na makukonfine ako because I was the only one so to drive um, and I got in the hospital I was really in pain it took us almost 3 hours 2 hours and 45 minutes to get there from Bailen and I was in shock so I couldn't believe that it happened and I was fortunate also that at that time my sister Beth was in Manila so after a few minutes I saw her in the hospital and she was there to assist us I was praying so Lord, 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 Lord please don't make it worse na yung condition ko. I really prayed hard sa mahal na po ng Nazareno, Santo Nino, and Our Lady of Lourdes. Some may not believe it, but I saw them there, watching me, protecting me. And I offered my life, my second life to them. I'm thankful to all the doctors who assisted me. Doc Patrick, Doc Francis, of course, Doc Benita, my sister. And God was his reasons for everything. As I was moved in the ward the, the following day na I stayed in the triage and then ER. I, I stayed in the ER for how many hours? And then 6 a.m. na ako nalipat ng ward because marami rin naging patient. There was a man na nastab dito sa neck. Almost na reach na yung throat niya. And he was really lucky also that it, it's his second life na rin. Grabe. Now I believe in second life talaga. <coughs> Sorry. Sobra. And I was blessed. Kasi sa ward I found the family also. In kay Tatay Ato de la Cruz. And kay Nanay Leone de la Cruz na taga Bustos. They're, they're really very friendly. They're like my Tatay Nanay din. Kaya nga, sabi nila nagkaroon sila din ng anak ulit. Kasi sila yung katabi ko sa bed. And sila yung mga kausap ko lagi. And they'd offer me food. They'd ask, they would ask also how I was. Because I was really in pain. These past few days, you could imagine yung broken ribs. Yung fractured ribs. And medyo hirap sa paghinga. But I'm really, really blessed. Thank you to Jay for saving me. To Kuya, to Bebet, to all my doctors. Dr. Patrick, Konog, Dr. Francis James of Chinese General Hospital. And to all my siblings, mga kapatid ko for giving me support prayers and encouragement kay ate, kay ni, kay Lelen kay Soy, kay di sila makapunta sa hospital I know they're with me kay kuya and kay pet this is another journey for me another, another life for me and I accept it sabi ko kay Lord after this, for giving me a second life I've tried my best but a new person Less of the mind, you know, Udo. Just, just be a happy person, a peaceful person, serving Him, serving God. Thank you, thank you so much. Little by little, I'm going recover with faith and I'll live my life to the fullest. Ah, for now, I'll trim my mustache and my beard. That's why I'm going I was away for a long day. I'm going to upload it because that's what happened to me. God is really good. God is really good.